thanh thanh môi đỏ và mắt xanh che nhìn như trăng rằm nụ cười thơm trầm cho ai về thao thức muốn nói mà lặng câm muốn nhìn mà quay mặt khép nếp tình trăm năm <cười> So little, or oh, one month old. What does he know about potatoes? Sweet and sour potatoes, yeah. So I gave her some just for fun, and then she wanted more, more, more. Oh, it's a lot. I said, No, you're too young. You cannot eat, uh, you know, sweet and sour potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you put a little vinegar, hmm, and even a little sugar, little only, and then salt, little salt, and uh, and a little bit of uh, sesame oil. Just uh, for the flavor, and that's that. You know, just, just toss it up, mix it together, and then eat. Yeah, you don't cook long because you slice it very thin. It's not uh, soft. Yeah, and it's not crispy like chips. It's crispy by its own texture because it's still a little raw. Not cook too long, then it's raw, but not raw. Okay. Yeah, and then just put sugar, vinegar, a little salt, and sesame oil. Toss it up and eat it. And she eat that and she had nothing wrong with her. <laughs> I thought dog could want to eat these kinds of things. But she kept wanting it. She come and uh, snatch some for me. <laughs> yeah. And then whatever else I ate, I also gave her some, you know, fruit and stuff like that, or sweet potatoes. She ate everything. And somehow I just tempted to pick her up. And she always came near, so I pick her up. And then, even when she go a little bigger, you know, she always come near me and try to climb on my leg to come up. <laughs> She's the only one who does that. Mm. So I always pick her up, you know, by the way, and then she thinks he's a big shot, because <laughs> I pay attention to her. Yeah. Special, give her a sweet and sour potato even. <laughs> Other dogs don't have. <laughs> Special, you know? So, wow, I think that's why she became the tough leader, yeah? She fought for her position. But she listened very well, because whenever they're together and the boy, the other leader of the white group, <laughs> he kind of showed off. I don't want any fights in the house, I told her. We should not have fights in the house. But I know the boy is a nuisance, you know? So if he comes aggressively at you, you just go, just go. Don't, don't, don't care about him, don't stay, don't fight, okay? So truly she does that. Every time the boy, you know, advances on her, she just goes through the, the door as if she's waiting to go out. Anyway, I'm out of here, you know. Oh, man. Very touching, you know? something they cooperate with you, they listen to you, make you feel very touched, you know. You cannot help but love them. And they love you too bits, you know. They love you so much, yeah. And that's nothing you can, you can prove, you just feel it, yeah. And they love me already since they were very little, they, because I know I love them and protect them from harm. I took them in, yeah? And immediately they were already protective of me. Uh, anybody comes, they bark. But if one person special, they bark so much and they surround me, they sit or stand all around me, make a, a ring around me and bark at that person, <laughs> or take turns too. But the boy especially, he, he never gives up on that girl, <laughs> that girl who he doesn't like, yeah. Uh, I think maybe one time, because I was very tired, I was very exhausted taking care of them. They eat and do their stuff all day, all night, 24 or 7. And there was one, one black dog, he died already. He, he was very sick and could not mix with the others, you know? because he went outside and got lost. We couldn't find him for many days. And then when we found him, he was already very beyond. I tried my best and the doctor came in all the time. I called him day and night, but still we could not help. And then he died. He suffered too much. Even with medicine, you know, he suffered too much. You know, the distemper is very difficult to cure. Yeah. Even cure, they still become like disabled, you know, no good for them all their lives, mostly like that very rarely they recover completely. So we had to separate them. I had to take care of him myself and take care of the kids as well, the other kids, yeah? So one day we were talking on the phone with one of your Thai uh, sisters, and, uh, and she said, Oh, Master, you give them away, Master, you give them away. 
Yeah. You don't do this anymore. You can hardly talk. You cannot sleep. You don't eat well. You're going to have trouble. You're going to be sick. Master, you have to really take care. Give the dogs away. They heard it over the phone only. The phone was on loudspeaker. I don't know how they heard it. And since then, every time that girl comes, they really go at her. Oh, surrounding me, all mouth <laughs> toward her, and wow, 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 still drinking milk, you know, <laughs> licking things from my finger, you know, <laughs> and barking so loud, louder than their body can ever contain. I don't know how they bark so loud. Little ones, very little when they were young, very little, you know, oh. protective, you know, and if somebody else is not good, they always surround me, make a ring, like, like somebody commands them to do it, like an army, you know, very orderly, yeah with the one leader in front, one at the back, and everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, following suit and they keep barking, you know? And if everybody else is tired, stop. The two leaders continue barking, take turns to bark. <laughs> they don't let go. And the girls say, oh, the dogs hate me, Master. I say, no, maybe they just do it for fun. <laughs> and they have nothing to do, you know. <laughs> Yeah, what else would I say? What else would you say? <laughs> yeah, later on, other dogs became more friendly with her because I explained and say she didn't mean it. She just wanted to protect me, just like you want to protect me. I said, just like you dogs all want to protect me. She's my disciple. She wanted to protect me because she saw that I was so exhausted and, you know, near collapse. So she just suggested that, but I will not give you away. I will not. I will keep you forever, I promise. So don't worry about that, okay? I love you very much. I would not ever give you away anywhere. You are in my house, this is your house. You know, we are family. And they calm down a little bit, but the two leaders never give up. <laughs> the other may be friendly, don't bargain. Maybe run around, sniff in a little bit to see if she's still bad or not, but <laughs> the lead, two leaders take turns, keep barking at her, non-stop. I was worried they tired out, so I said, okay, you go home. <laughs> okay, we talk on the phone, it's better. <laughs> they don't go attack her or bite her, they just bark at her. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> Definitely, go, go, go! <laughs> they don't like her. Oh my God, it's so obvious, you know? And nowadays still, even if you can buy, the other dogs buy veggie bones or goodies, you know, these two liters, you cannot buy them, not that quick. They have to sniff you from your hair to your toe first, <laughs> many times, until they let you even touch them <laughs> or go near, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, they use their English language, what they know. <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> ow, ow, ow! <laughs> Yeah, and who say dog can't speak English? I don't believe it. <laughs> they speak very loud English, very clear, right? And nowadays, even if somebody comes to my cave, for example, you know, just uh, waiting, maybe sometimes I call, but I have not finished the documents. Or maybe I call, but then I realize I have to uh, make some additions, you know? I have to take it back and write it again, some extra. And they sit waiting. I don't want them to sit outside in the rain, because my cave has no protection in the front, nothing. Just straight, you know? Okay. So I say, oh, come in, sit there, wait for me. Sorry, I, I want to add it something. Oh, they just <sighs> put one foot in only, you know? Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> ow, ow! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Oh, I said, oh, please, it's, it's a friend, family, he's good, he's harmless to you. Well, they, they don't trust. Yeah, they don't trust. They go the distance, you know? And still, ow, 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 you know? And I said, okay, you give them some of these the bones, and they'll be okay. You'll be your friend. No, don't take. <laughs> Every other dog, uh, yeah, a little bit suspicious, but then come and take. And these, no. Two leaders, no. 
<laughs> you don't buy me type. <laughs> What do you think you're doing, huh? <laughs> this is my house, huh? My master, huh? You, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> I'm telling you, they don't take it, you know? I say, okay, you, you throw it. <laughs> maybe, maybe slowly, you throw it long and distant, you throw it slowly and then she comes to you. Doesn't come. The long one would come, sniff, sniff, but distrust it. Ow, ow. <laughs> I mean, what is that, you know? What do you think you bribe me for? You think I'm stupid? You think I'm a dog or something? <laughs> Ay, uh, they are just too funny. These two, they really behave like leaders, you know? They really take care of their flock. Yeah, because even two nuns wanted to help them, you know? Everybody are okay with them, all right? But these two still could not buy them yet, up to now, you know? And a long time already, I think one week, two weeks, two weeks already, still did not buy them yet, <laughs> cannot buy them yet. They are still very distant and, you know, aloof and suspicious. Bones, no working. Snacks, no. <laughs> love, love, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, love, love, what? <laughs> what kind of love? Uh, <laughs> they are very aloof, you know, very, very stubborn and very strong in their opinion about who is who. <laughs> because uh, they, they think they have to protect their, their group. Thus, they cannot just trust anybody so quickly. Mm -hmm. And their little one, the smallest one, oh, she's the most... Uh, very difficult to trust. It took me almost like a year that she can really trust me. Yeah, but once she trusts it, I am hers. Everybody else, uh, <laughs> forget it, okay? <laughs> she jumped on my sofa, she jumped next to me. Uh, before I had only a chair to work, you know, like working office chair. But she just hanging around so much. I'm worried I might step on her, you know? So I had to have a long sofa. So that I sit on one end to work and she sits on the other end. And all of cannot come. <laughs> she's so small, normally she's very compliant. But when somebody goes near or tries to snatch her bone or something, she's like a tiger, L little tiger. <laughs> <laughs> she saw all her teeth out, you know, white and nasty teeth. <laughs> white teeth, white, you know, because she had been living in the wild all her life until I got her about three years something. We thought she was just another puppy from this group, but she was not. Did not. Later, doctor said, "Oh, she's at least three years old." She fought all for herself because her parents had to so be poisoned to death, you know, before. So she survived all by herself, her little self. Every time people wanted to go near, she ran up to the mountain. She knew they could not go up there and find her. She collected all the things, <laughs> put them up in her nets, <laughs> you know, whatever. Sometimes I give a little ball or something, food in there. She looks, she worried people come and catch her, so she took the whole ball. <laughs> Plastic, uh, very light, you know, small. She took it all and would go up to her den, hide it there and eat there all by herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not even the doctor could catch her anything. I thought she belonged to this group, you know, and I wanted to catch her many times, but she's so fast. Three of us could not stop her. She climbed the fence, you know, this type of fence. She climbed, put her paw out. Otherwise, she would bite you. She was in four people already who tried to go near. She bite anybody. She didn't trust humans, you know. I think her parents told her, don't trust any humans. Don't go near them. Don't let them go near you. So she went in and eat, 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 but then she eat and she looked around. She's like, like a bird, you know, so scared. And later, I could not just leave her alone like that. She went and ate garbage all the time and worries she got sick. And she did get sick. I had to leave, yeah? And then uh, I worry that she might get sick. You know, I just felt sorry for her somehow. She was all alone, there were no parents anymore. I thought she was still a small puppy. She looked very small, yeah, even now. So I said to all the golf personnel, I said, whoever catches her, I give you 30,000 baht. For Thailand, is uh, quite good, yeah. Before, I gave many 10 already to different dogs. <laughs> and for this one, 30,000 baht plus, okay? 
bonus. So they make like a big room with just a fence and then with the trap door, yeah, somehow. And uh, after they made it, she didn't come eat for three days. Normally they put some food there and then they go in their spot, she goes in their spot and eat, but she didn't come for three days. And, uh, and finally she came, maybe too hungry or something, and then the door flapped and then they, they caught her, yes. But once we got her, I say, call the doctor. The doctor that came that night and the day before to take care of my dog, uh, vaccine and whatever, yeah. I needed him all the time. And then uh, they say they caught her already. Yeah. I say, okay, okay, immediately I asked somebody to go now and bring her home, to my home. I lived near Bangkok at that time, and that place was far away. It's a, it's a golf course, it's a, one of the houses owned by one of your brothers. I, I rented it, yeah. So then I said, okay, okay, I send somebody immediately, yeah, and uh, we'll give you the reward. Don't worry, please keep her in there. Don't do anything, yeah. Don't do anything to harm her, to keep feeding her until we come. And then when he came, I told the sister to call the doctor first, wait until the doctor came and check her out and see if there was any problem. Why didn't she come for three days? And really she was a mess. She had high temperature, she had diarrhea, oh. And immediately he, he treated her a little bit. And then when we brought her home, I gave her to the doctors and she stayed in the clinic for a while. Người ơi, người 